Well, I must say, this has been the most enjoyable journey to work for a long while. What fun! This bit does craze me because Otley Bottoms is bloody shut for two months. So you're having to come around here and then come out um, by Otley College and then rejoin the road north of the Otley Bottoms. Otley Bottoms. Otter in your bottoms. Well, these are going to be seen, ain't I? I've got me uh, Backton Transport Services wall pit bomber high vis jacket on. And I've got, I've not worn these before, but I've took the um, lining out of them, but I think I might have to take the knee pads out of them. They're ridiculously, they're just on the side. But these Gore-Tex, Gore-Tex trousers with the Union Jack. That's why I bought them. Just for the Union Jack and a bit of camo. We got a few bike nights happening. New, uh, are they new? Uh, Thought Ness. But I thought that would be where you've seen us all before. Down by the cafeteria, by the boat and lake. But it isn't. That's in a field. And they have like a classic cars and all that malarkey. I think a Thursday or Wednesday. But my good mate Sean, who picked me up from Paul's, where I left the Freelander, said he, mu he might take his uh, uh, Fizzy, what is just done up? He's done a restoration project on a FS1 e Fizzy looks good, looks awesome. It's yellow, like you know. God, I remember coming here. Otley College. First year at Not Cuts. Was it here? Did we come here? Yeah, must have. And there was what? 15 of us, I think, in the YTS scheme. 1984. And I remember us all, when we were old enough to have mopeds, we we're all in this corner here. At the car park. God, what a memory friggin' years ago now, wasn't it? But it just feels like yesterday. Yeah, it was uh, 15. That did whittle down towards the end of the year. But I wonder, I don't know... I don't know even if there's anybody left who started with me. Because we all went to... Um, we're all not cuts. And because all that folded up, the nursery side of things, and then John Woods, and then that all went tits up. Most of them are out doing their own gardening things now. Who's. No, there's nobody at Bacton, is there? There was me saying I'm the only one left. I don't even work there no more, you bell end. God. But there's uh, my good mate Andy and Robert. We're the three left at Bacton who tooped over from the nursery side of things at Woodbridge over to Bacton Transport, which was uh, March just gone 15 years ago. Limey. I think you're right. The commenter who said I should uh, give up riding and get a bus pass, I think is uh, spot on there, don't you? Might go for the... No, I won't. This is going to definitely get me to work quicker than the old Freelander. So, 
van was afforded to warp it every day due to um, an issue with, with, which is linked to last year <coughs> and uh, I visit which happened just down here at Henley yesterday afternoon should in about three or four weeks sort that out hoping so I've killed the uh, Freelander going bags and fours that's cost me 60 quid a week in diesel this one's gonna be a slightly cheaper isn't it my steed of the day Drive Tiger 955 injection came out of the factory at Hinkley is it Leicestershire? This is alright until a bit of wildlife decides to take a stroll across the road, isn't it? Always worry me early mornings. Especially my way with the deer. You don't want one of them strolling out and you know what they do, just stand there and look at you. You think, yeah. Gorgeous, isn't it? I see why Mr. Fish does it all the while now. Commute, that is. Oh, nice. Get your knee down. Get your knee down on a Tuesday morning on the way to work. What's that all about? Holy moly. I've only brought one battery, so however long this goes on for, wasn't really going to record anything, but I thought, well, the first trip on the drive to, uh, it has been to a Bacton transport yard before, when we were at Stowmarket, because I picked it up in the Arctic trailer, because it's got a tail lift, picked it up from Derby. You've heard that before though, haven't you? Any old who? That's key. We're gonna, um, I'll bring it back. Well that didn't take long. We're now gonna pop out on the A140. Blimey, this is great. I think, like I said, I left home just before uh, six. And that's only literally 20 minutes, 20, 20 past. Get to work, earlier I get there, earlier I can leave off. Don't know how I'm gonna get me shopping this week. I've got me tank bag, cause I've got me usual uh, emergency toolkit, sticky tape and plasters, the usual, let's give it some <laughs> horn, this is coming around to the A14, then we can go and play with the trucks for five minutes. Make our way to Wall Pits. Whoa, man. Am I gonna have a smile on my face when I get to Wall Pit? Back to transport services. All your needs of logistics. <laughs> they should pay me for these adverts. Come on, Amboy. Let's, oh, we've got one of them. They only do about 45 miles an hour. And go. Top gear would be good, Dave. So here we are on the notorious A14 
every day there's an incident usually involving there's a back to transport warning yeah I didn't realise until I started working in the warehouse side of things for a little while that they load all the little trucks up overnight oh Steve right let's let's do you sir anyhow who I'll bring you back oh I just had a horrible thought I found I forgot something and I just thought yeah they asked where my timesheet was yesterday I said that's in my bag I forgot it didn't I? Oh, never mind. I'll make up a few starting and ending times that do that do boy do you know what I mean? right well we're off the A114 A1 the A114 the A14 bit of fun with the uh, truckers apart from the one what took 22 minutes to overtake another one fucking horror drivers now we run down this looks awfully familiar doesn't it when we get down the bottom here because this is where after coming back and forwards for a couple of weeks the Suffolk Cruisers decided to do a trip to the Stag Caf the Stag Cafe because they felt like it and I thought oh great that's just where I've been going backwards and forwards all week on the renamed she's still Jennifer but she is the Calf Finder General I don't know how I come up with these things it just rubbing me head like you know I thought I've got to, I've got to put something and it, it, it just come do you know what I mean so this used to be the Hawley Benz on the A14. This used to be the A14. Well, one side of it. Obviously that is the dual carriageway, but since they built that new bit, that used to have a lot of uh, crashes on it as well for some reason. And the bit at Clayden, straight bit of road they have uh, closed off or just dug up some of the a uh, couple of them lay boys because I think what was happening was trucks were pulling out and just crashing into each other but yeah by the lakes there seems to be you know uh, I should say once a month there's probably uh, something happens along there uh, there's little hot spots all the way along this road it's uh <coughs> it's not as bad as the a9 uh, i think that goes as the most dangerous road doesn't it somewhat so we're only a couple of seconds away and what is the time 25 minutes past six. Whoa. Bastards. See it yesterday. Coming around um, on the way to Henley. Coming up to a left turn. Well, not a turn, a bend in the road. Big old Ducati come the other way just as a postman was coming to the end of a driveway of a farm and I thought no 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 but luckily he didn't just pull out and or he, he actually stopped and took a good look before and I thought oh Jesus 
My bloody heart rate went up, I tell you. So here we are at the uh, at the work twenty, as they say. Acton Transport Services for all your transport and logistics need. <laughs> I've never parked me bike here. And it looks like the, uh, I think we go up here somewhere, don't we? Do we? That'll do, won't it? Bring your own Bring your own Be alright, wouldn't it? Just in case. Just in case the old tarmac. I'll put that under there because somebody's put some plates there, haven't they? Anyway, welcome to Bacton Transport. Movac. Hola Charlie! Yes, mate. Huh? <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Door won't open, mate. Pallet Network. Triple Dive goes to work. 